electric shock from equipment can result in death or severe burns. Additionally, serious injury can result if the user falls as a result of the shock. The limited access to confined spaces means that it may take longer to provide medical assistance to personnel in confined spaces, and it is therefore extremely important that safe working practices are followed to avoid the risk of electric shock. All electrical equipment should carry a valid portable appliance testing, or PAT label. Testing should be carried out by suitably trained individuals at least once every three months. If an electric power tool does not carry a valid PAT label, it should not be used, and you should inform your supervisor. All power tools used in a confined space should be 110 volts and should be fitted with a dedicated RCD. Power tool users should be provided with insulation mats and it should be possible to turn off or isolate all power tools from within the confined space and this should be done routinely whenever equipment is not in use. It should also be possible to turn off power supplies from outside the confined space. All 110 volt lamps used in a confined space must be fixed and any handheld lamps used in the space should be 25 volts.